Welcome to Let's Talk Under the Tree. We got Meek Meek in the house. T Smalls, where she at, my friend? Man, we talking up under the tree. I don't think you had no ice water today. I don't think she had none either. Where is she at? Oh, man, man, we talking up under the tree. Well, you know, Meek Meek uh, thinks she's somebody mama. So we're going to break it down tonight and have a, you know, have a good time with everybody. You know, do what we do. She under the tree, live in effect. Somewhere for right. some part, somewhere from some parts unknown. We don't know where she is. She might be in Mexico, California. Ain't no telling. What you think, man? <laughs> She's somewhere out there in the world. You know what I'm saying? Meet me for president. Destination meet, unknown. Yeah, meet me for president. We got a special <laughs> guest. I'm going to bring him on the screen for you. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we got a special guest tonight. What's, what's going, going on, on y'all? What's going man, on, man? Man, what's going on, man? We cooling, man. Slow motion, man. I showed up under the tree. I'm here for it. What's going on with y'all? <laughs> Yeah, oh, meek, meek. yeah, meek, 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 yeah, everything, everything, meek, 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 meek for president. We got her bodyguard number two getting ready to come on the screen. We're going to add him also. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can run, but you can't hide. No, no, <laughs> right. right. Meek Meek, uh, you know, I had a dream last night. Meek Meek was going to run for president and all that. So what y'all think about it? We're going to start with Mr. JT first. What you think about that, man? I mean, she always been in charge. Let her tell it. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, she, she, she ran the house, cuz. I just I just remember coming up, and she she's all the branches, all in one. <laughs> Dang. She's going to tell, she's going to execute the order, all of it. <laughs> Dang. Dang. T Smalls, uh, do you think he's trying to say that she got a little switch in her also? Hey man, I I don't know, man. Hey, I'm 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 intrigued to see what's going on tonight, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey Elliot, Meek Meek, you know, well, let me back it up a little bit. I had a little dream that you know she was gonna, you know, run for president. So what you think about that? You think she can handle it? Oh, your brother says she was a badass, you know. So what you think about that? You can handle yeah, it, but man. she has too much emotion. You can't lock everybody up, you know, kick everybody out. <laughs> <if you don't. laughs> yeah, Meek got, got her way, so you, you can't allow her to do it by herself. That's why That's why you got <laughs> the executive, judicial, and legislative. <laughs> like I said, she tried to be all three. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I wow. You don't surprise me, man. <laughs> Yeah, Ooh. I told him. I told him, don't say nothing. <laughs> hey man, hey man. everything. Hey, hey man, you gotta have a secret weapon in your back pocket. You know what I'm saying? Ace in the hole, bro. Well, it's like <laughs> girl power. Girl power. Girl power. <laughs> that look like new group up there. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Moving right along, what's your first presidential question, Meek Meek? I know you got about several. What you got? What you want to talk about? What you got? No, I'm good. What you got, Meek Meek? Uh oh. I, I do have a question. Since we all family and everything. Uh oh. I got a question. Why cousins think it's okay to have a sexual with another cousin? Oh. Wait, a what? Whoa. Wait, what? Whoa. 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 Why do some cousins think it's okay to have a sexual relationship with another with another cousin? Which I gotta Whoa. <laughs> Wait, I hey, hey, I, I, <laughs> hey, I just seen I just seen old hey, I just seen old boy down a cup of drink just now, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Well, yeah, uh, well, JT, guess what? Whatever kind of yeah. answer you want to give, say something. Hit it. Man, look. It is. It's absolutely not all right to be with nobody. <laughs> they got the same kin folk in them that you got in you. It is absolutely not all right. <laughs> you rest, so you rest your case. I rest my case. I'm straight right there. T Smalls, what you got, man? On that. Hey, hey, man. 
Every, everybody don't believe in that uh that Rothstein theme, man. Nobody don't be doing that, man. <laughs> Heck nah. Cousins on cousins. Nah, man. I, I gotta throw a flag on the play on that one. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> what you got there, man? What you got there? Man? No, I, I I can't I can't see nothing <laughs> that allows that to happen. Humanly possible, spiritually possible, anything. Once you re- once you realize that you're family, I think th- everything should be off limits anyway. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Like, if, you ever, if you ever notice somebody say that's your cousin, they don't even check birth certificate, they don't check nothing. They just be like, nah, that's off limits. <laughs> yeah. That's a shoe. You can't I, mess with me. Yeah, I think that's pretty much nasty to me, man. Exactly. I mean, make your make your skin crawl. I, I you know, I didn't even know that go on. I hope that don't go on. <laughs> it's I mean, still, it's still do go on. That's just purity nasty. I've heard that. Um, <laughs> I've heard also that you have fathers getting their daughters pregnant. It's that's oh, the, no. Yeah. That's, oh no. You know, I I heard that do happen, and you know that that's oh, pretty. Man. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty nasty. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, anybody in here got some holy water right now? Anybody got some hey, holy water? Sprinkle me, man. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Sprinkle me, man. Do that again. Do it again. <laughs> Sprinkle me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just showed up under the tree, and it's hotter under the tree than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all feel about the coronavirus up there in Columbia, man? What y'all doing up there? Y'all, I mean, y'all don't want to. Um, lock it down, man. What's going on up there, bro? Chill, we better I mean, than y'all in Florida. Oh, <laughs> uh, here you go. Here you go with that. But you know what? Hey, man. When it comes when it comes down to it, a lot of it, a lot of it is common sense. So, yeah. you have a lot of people that live this that that live through this world and said, "I don't need nobody. I don't need nobody. I don't need nobody." Ever since the lockdown, nobody wants to stay still because obviously they need to see somebody. Right. So it actually contradicts what you've been saying as far as I don't need nobody in this world but me, myself, and I. But you do need it because the world is based off interaction with people. Right. And this world, the United States is built on freedom of speech. If you go to China and they do a lockdown, you go into jail if you're out in the street. But because we got freedom of speech, everybody thinks they can say, well, hey, I ain't got to do it because I don't want to. They don't have a, a specific reason. Right. They can feel inside them that they don't have to listen. Right. But little to that, little do they know, it only they feel like it only affects them when it hits them personally. But when it hits you personally, that could be the death. So why don't we even wait that long? Right. Okay. Right. Well, that's that's pretty good. Meet me. What you yeah. feel about that? I mean, um, do you think that because when the coronavirus hit, we didn't have any masks for about three months? Two and, well, me, well I'm, I, I say three weeks. I take it back. You think that has something to do with the spreading? No, I think people are just ignorant. You know, they don't care. I, I go to Walmart periodically to pick up some items or, or to one of the other supermarkets. And there are some people just got their little nasty little hands all over the vegetables or whatever. You know, sneezing and doing nasty stuff. It, it's people of ignorance. Right. And then you see parents in there with their children. Okay, it's, it's you and your spouse. Why can't one of them stay home with the children? You don't want your children to get that illness. Right. Why the, other, one, why the other person goes shopping? Right, you're right. But where you live at, y'all grow y'all food. You you saving a lot of money down there. <laughs> yeah, I've been told. I, I live on the back, all the way out in the country. That's the only place I ever been when you pull up in the yard and a cow block your door. Mm. You gotta wait hey, till man. the cow. You gotta wait till the cow or the horse get tired, and then you can get out your car. Hey, no, man. Hey, hey, they, they ain't blocking your door, man. They the valet, man. They come to, 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 to take you out your car. Hey, they got, they got, they, hey, hey, Fuji, she, they got, the, they got the, uh, the Chick Fil A cow out there. Eat more chicken. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, but it's all hey, it's organic though. That's the thing. Oh, it's organic, kind of. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you, you I mean, you, it's you know, green out there. You, I mean, that's a good flavored chicken. I mean, cow beef out there. Okay. Hey, hey, 
Hey, he he waving a sign, eat more chicken, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to worry about that, you know. Yeah. And when you when you get in the yard, you ever heard a cow talk? <laughs> yeah, the, the cows out there is cocky. This is what they say right here. Who is you? <laughs> I mean, no, wow, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Let me family, ask you. Go ahead. Gets last nerves. family gets on your last nerves. <laughs> Let me ask y'all about travel. Know. No, go ahead, Meek. I'm go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right, I got a question for y'all since y'all want to rag on me. When did all y'all lose your virginity? Oh, oh hell. <laughs> Uh, well, hold on. Uh, oh, T man, wait, uh, wait, wait. Uh, T Smalls, you at the top. You hit it. You go ahead first. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, hey, uh, I'm going to plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, I JT. I plead, you I plead the, the fifth. Sent you under the tree. Oh, man. I'm chilling, man. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I wasn't. I wasn't super early and I wasn't late. I think I was about 15, 16, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. That's, that's a good age. Yeah. Elliot, go ahead. You look like you got something. No, no, you ain't no. quite sure. You ain't quite sure. I mean. No, no I ain't quite sure because, you know, you know, most young men, you know, we we perform a task before we are of age before we get that, just to get that energy out. Yeah. <laughs> and with me being with me being a younger brother, you know, I used to watch these actresses and actors perform uh their art on TV. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, I was preparing myself at a young age, but I plead the fifth <laughs> for it to officially leave side of my name on the dotted line. Okay. You, you sound like a politician. <laughs> yeah. For real. For real. Yeah, He's he still trying to get a job somewhere. Hey, hey, he being politically correct right now. <laughs> That's a safe answer. That's a safe yeah. answer. Well, hold on now. So, so Mika, since you're the only woman in the room. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I gotta turn I, my ear to you. I <laughs> Hold up, I don't. she don't remember. Oh, <laughs> she don't remember. Remember? Uh, oh, Hold man. Up, you don't remember because the duel, or you don't remember? Remember? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be bringing them kind of questions in there if you're not prepared to answer. Now she <laughs> sounds like yeah. she, she sounds like Oliver North or something. <laughs> <laughs> now come on, Mick. You can't. You can't be in here doing no proper questions. Now, uh, you guys, the questions I don't recall and I don't remember. I think it's that some of that medication. And, oh. Uh, oh, okay. Let me. Let me. We we gonna nail it down for you. Was it was it before school or after school? What school? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was gonna catch you. I thought I was gonna catch you. <laughs> Hey, you know she she hit you with that Bill Cosby question. She said the right. prescription pills. Right. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Zebedee Palmer said he gonna tell on you, Meek Meek. That's why she uh, said to Mr. Her scared. <laughs> oh, I'm not I ain't never scared. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I was Ooh. 15, and guess what? Mr. Frank Palmer, God bless his soul, he walked up to me and said, boy, you look like you wheezing, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said, look like you done, look like you done wheezed. <laughs> he seen you right after? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I probably, I probably looked a little wheezed too. <laughs> hey, you know what? As a matter of fact, we all did at one point, huh? <laughs> Hey, guess what? He actually he actually jacked me up and said, "Boy, open your damn eye." <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's, that's a true story. Right. That's a true story. That sounds about yeah. right. Yeah. Do y'all feel like y'all kind of living in prison? You can't travel because of the pandemic, or you can't go nowhere. What can you really do? I mean, living in your house, you're scared to go in the, in the store. How y'all feel about it? 
I'm not really scared to do nothing. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But I also ain't ready to be in no large crowd. Like I ain't. You ain't got to worry about no carnival or the sale at the store. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I go mm-hmm. to the grocery store. I go to the park. I walk my mm-hmm. dog. I do everything I pretty much want to do. Fortunately, I'm old. I just don't want to do that much. It right. don't matter to me. Right. What you got, T. Smalls? Right. Much hey, of traveling man. and all that, man. I mean, I, I'm tired of living in a bubble, man. I'm tired of living in a bubble, man. I I, I need a hey, a hey, Jamaica is calling me right now. I need that Jamaica trip like in the worst way. I need to go back though, <laughs> for real. How many of y'all saving money during the pandemic? You know, they hey, it ain't too much to spend on it. Y'all really saving any money? Tell the truth. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's all right. It could be a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> it could always be a little bit more. Hey, let you saving money. You got that look on your eye, like you blowing every dime. Yeah, it, but if, if you think, if you truly think about it, you burning more power. You know. You actually driving more because you're gonna take that extra trip out the way just to stay at the house, stay out the house. Mm-hmm. There, there's ways you're spending money. It might not be an abundance of saying, "Hey, I ain't been out to eat in about three, four days. I can eat at the house." Yeah, but that electricity and this heat, it's been oh, still it's cranking. Yeah, it's, 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 real. it's still cranking. And and some people, some people are you know order more online. So you still you still spending money. It's not. It's just not the physical. The, the whole physical of walking, going to the register, walking in the store, you're not spending that type of money, but you spend you spending money because it's a lot of stuff you can't see and can't touch. That right. normally you wouldn't do. Because normally most people if you got a if you got an average job, your house is pretty much locked down from 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 six to seven. We'll just say six to seven, your house is locked down. So your AC is at a certain unit, but with kids being home, you being home, people having to work from home, that electricity is still pumping. Yeah. Let me ask y'all this. Go ahead. Let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. Since this pandemic, now this is a uh, question for the for the guys. Have y'all seen all these ladies got some of the best hairdos you could find? Oh man, look. I don't know about nobody. (laughs) I don't know about nobody else, right? So I'm not. I don't have no no entanglements. Entanglement (laughs) going on right now. I love it. I I love it. (laughs) I don't have no entanglements, right? So people are choosing. People are finding out that they lonely is they lonely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So (laughs) my phone ring crazy hearing the craziest stuff. Right. (laughs) Now everybody else probably got a different life because they got commitment (laughs) and all that. But for me, it's crazy out here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so it's hard out there for a pimp. I mean, I'm not, I'm not that guy, man. But you know, I'm a maintenance man. That's what you. Oh, I'm a oh. <laughs> there you, go. you know what I'm saying? I don't know okay, if I'm here that. for all the problems. I don't know if I can invest myself in all your problems. <laughs> but if you want to get away from your problems, <laughs> you can come holler at me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 one, one, eight, one, eight hundred entanglement, huh? Hey, so you got to you keep a schedule. I mean, I try to. I try to. <laughs> I don't want nobody to think it's like favoritism. <laughs> All right. Well, you you gonna have an Amazon box for me with some condoms? Uh, man, no, <laughs> hey, look. Now, trust me, I'm gonna keep them. I ain't no fool. <laughs> Every mechanic got a checklist. I thought you straight raw dog. I thought you straight. I thought you just straight raw dog. Nah, man, that, that, that's what they do in the movies. Cause I don't make no movies, not no more. Oh, okay, my bad, man. <laughs> oh, oh no, hold, hold wow. on. I just caught that. <laughs> wow, that's what I. Hey, that's what I said. I just caught that. <laughs> wow. Oh boy, that's funny. I love it. This is uh-huh. hey, this is some classic stuff right here, man. This classic right here, man. Hey, Smalls, what you feel about the <laughs> what you feel about all these hairdos? Hey, hold up, before you get to the uh, the hairdo, some of these feet looking rough, like they just came out the field, bro. 
Hey man, hey, <laughs> hey man. Uh, where I, where, where I live at, man, they they just throw on a little uh, uh what a little, what a thing called a little bonnet and just be done with it, man. Feet all ashy, you know what I'm saying? Look, look like look like chicken feet, man. I, I, man, it's, it's crazy out here, man. It's wild. That's a white horn bottle. That's it, white horn bottle. That's what would you call it? <laughs> white horn bottle. Remember them baby shoes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey man, so hey, hey, it's crazy out here, man. It's crazy. Well, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna hey. give, give them a little defense in that uh, we talking uh, about the whole we talking about the whole coronavirus, right? And we know what it is. We can't really do a whole lot. So I ain't even gonna sit here in front like I get up and jump in the mirror, make sure my mustache like bruh, three, four days go by, you be like, man, ain't nobody gonna see me. You know what I'm saying? So I get it <laughs> why somebody look rough in the quarantine. You feel me? Right. I ain't gonna hold that against them. But, hey, 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 but you, you got you you got you got a little bit of home remedies now. It ain't like you ain't you can't do something by yourself, you know. You know, I, I'm in the store getting me a, a, a bear, man, and I start to pull a bear out and tell a lady, hey man, can I pop the top on your toenails? <laughs> 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 oh no, man! I'm oh, serious, no. man. Hey, but hey, hey, but like you say, man, I understand, man. I understand. You know what I'm saying? It's the struggle is real. No, hey, man, man, look, you think, that, that's laziness too. Now, y'all got y'all think part of it is lazy. <laughs> like a couple of things, son, like I had a whole the whole the whole roof missing out the coop, man. You know what I'm saying? That time will catch up to you. <laughs> I'm good right now. You know, I'm good right now. Hey, JT, you you look like you carry a butter knife to scrape them chicks' ankles. You'll do you, your ankle scrape on. Hey, no, I don't even. Hey, look, I don't even disappoint myself. I don't look past nobody's knees. <laughs> I can't judge you if I don't see it. <laughs> Look like he's one of them people that cut people's toes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, all I got to tell you is nowadays you better have some hot sauce, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what? Feet ain't never really been my thing. You know what I'm saying? That ain't one of them things I really go for. Now, I know when your feet look good versus when them when they look like beef jerky. But that ain't my thing. I'm not about to be on no toes, sucking no toes or none of that shit. He said, he said hey, beef jerky, though. I think he's spitting out toenails, bro. No, man. No, man. No, you man. Sure? You sure? I'm positive. I'm positive. Oh, man. Well, he, yeah, me, crazy, me. man. I'm saying nothing about these ladies here. I mean, your hair look nice. I mean, what you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Me, me doing it up now. She yeah. doing it up. It's called that, that luggage package. Oh, <laughs> like it's packs, okay. Yeah, give it some more. I'm I'm in the midst of taking some braids out of my hair, so you know when you go swim a little bit, you put your little luggage pack on. Oh, <laughs> man. Matter of fact, hold on a minute. I'm not, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show y'all something uh -oh. right now. Uh -oh. All right, all right. Uh -oh. Now, uh -oh. ain't no yeah. way in the hell you damn near fifty years old with straight black hair. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Let people live, hey, man. Huh? Hey, man. Hey, man. She she been to Zamunda, man. It's juices and berries. <laughs> guess who in the Guess who in the building? Oh hell, y'all ready? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Who in the building? Y'all see that comment oh, there, right? Oh, oh hell. Oh, oh here we go, go Maurice. Chicken George. Oh man. <laughs> Chicken George is in the building. Where you at, man? Where, hey, we finally finding him, huh? <laughs> Chicken George, he, he finally showed up. Oh, my gosh. Let me ask y'all this. Chicken George. Back in the days, I know one of y'all done stole the car and lied and said y'all was going somewhere, you know, back in the days, your parents' car, and you know, um, lied and said y'all was somewhere, and y'all was somewhere else. Who did that and got stuck in the ditch? Hey, I, ain't never, I ain't never got I ain't never got stuck in the ditch, man. But uh, I used to steal everybody car. Uh oh, I'm telling on myself. My bad, but uh, I used to I used to take everybody car. <laughs> hey, so check this out, right? So 
my hey, my my aunties and uncles, man, they had a bad habit of leaving their keys in the car when they pull up in the yard, right? Uh -huh. So me as a uh, a young fella like myself, you know, I used to go uh joy riding, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, I go get the car. I might be gone for a few hours, but guess what? I'm thinking in the back of my mind, boy, I'm gonna get an ass whipping out this world when I get back. How young? <laughs> I was about I was about fourteen years old. Huh? Oh, oh no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's beyond belts. They put the hands on you. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, that's beyond belts, there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mika, I know you snuck the car. You, I know you. You oh, did something. Tell yeah. mom I'm gonna watch her car. Then be like, oh, I'm gonna go to Granddaddy House. Just don't leave the. Don't leave the area, man. I done went to McDonald's, stopped out the middle school where all the older boys were playing basketball, all that, chilling out there. Dang. <laughs> Dang. You just you made a tour, huh? You went on tour. <laughs> hey, I learned better. That's my two older brothers. <laughs> oh, oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh, hell. Well, moving right along. I'm gonna ask, uh, I'm gonna ask Elliot a question. I'm gonna blow you, I'm gonna blow your butt up on the screen right now. When you start smoking, uh -oh. bro. When you start, when you start, when you start, started smoking and stop smoking. I don't, I don't, I don't smoke like that. I, I might, <laughs> I might do something for an occasion, but as far as, as far as everyday, everyday use, I don't do that. I do it, do it for occasion, you know, a holiday or something. A holiday. But, yeah, I don't, I don't partake in it because I can't, I can't fund that habit. You can't fund it. <laughs> no, I can't fund it. He, your bubble know he, your, your bubble you know that, that's your habit. Dude, I can fund this. <laughs> yeah, I can fund this. <laughs> you know you're gonna get it. When you start oh. smoking by about four or five years old, your your uh, first puff. Oh no. <laughs> I bet I I, I could have sworn I seen you smoking in Pampers. <laughs> I probably wasn't smoking in Pampers. But back maybe, then, they, they called it diapers back then, but go ahead. Maybe pre-K. But, uh... <laughs> no, nah, I probably, like... I'm like a lot of people, man. Like, I hit that thing in high school, and, like, I ain't had no money then. Like, you know my parents. My parents wasn't about that life, so it wasn't nothing that I could get into every day. Right. And I went in the Army after that, so, again, like, you run across it, but you can't really... You shouldn't get into it every day. I wasn't at that level. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I never, like, man, look, from the time I can remember, man, I knew I loved the smell of reefer. <laughs> and I probably, and I'm talking about, I'm going back to, like, five, six, seven years old, because, like, mm -hmm. I always liked the smell of reefer. You feel me? Uh-huh. <laughs> So now, now I'm now I'm daily, but I still don't go crazy. I'm not gonna be smoking four or five blunts a day. I'm probably gonna roll up a joint. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And when I get off, I'm a you know I'm gonna smoke me a joint. I might drink a beer. I might not. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. Cause like it's not it's not a for me. It's it's more of a uh, more of my therapy. Cause <laughs> like you hear people say that all the time. But for real, it, it's a sleep aid. You feel me? It keep me. It keep me together. <laughs> you got hey, man. Here. I I feel you, bro. I feel you. We gonna yeah. sing a song. We gonna try to sing a song. We could give us about one minute of a song. Anything. We gonna we gonna help you out like the last time. Do something. Hey, hold up. What what about that Beyonce lemonade? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you ain't got no song? Not today. Marie said oh. he drove. Marie said he drove to New York. New York in the tenth grade. I don't know if that's true. Yes, he did. Him and his crazy friends, and nobody what? knew. Wow. The tenth grade. Wow. He, he he drove in Poochie's car, the champ. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's, I, I don't think that champ, I don't think the old was changed ever. He <laughs> <laughs> just jumped in the car with enough money to drive to New York for two days? For a couple of days, he stayed with my aunt. 
He said he making a dope run. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> I thought I was out here cutting up. He for real with it. <laughs> hey, he hey, he got me. Hey, he he got me beat the hey, the fathers I went is in the Charleston area, man. Big old circle, boy. You went all the way to New York. You got me beat, bro. Okay. Right. Let me ask the guys this. How old were you when you was uh with your first older woman? Tell the truth. You you gotta tell the truth on song. Smalls, I don't want to hear that mess. You plead the fifth. Talk <laughs> this is the this this ain't is, this is hey man. I, I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm gonna be honest, man. I, I was like 18 years old, bro. 18. Well, you just ain't how old you was. I mean, how old like was the how old was the woman? She, she was about uh she about 33. <laughs> about 33. Okay, all right, right. Okay. <laughs> how about you? Three, how about man. you? How, how about you, Elliot? I'm gonna hold I'm I'm gonna blow you up on the screen. I wanna see your face. Cause I your think eyes. <laughs> I think I was about 22, 23, and she was mid mid to late 30s. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, and your eyes still squinching from that experience. We can see it right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey what you said earlier? You, you, you we said, Winston, we said, you what you said? I can't pronounce you. He, look, he said, you winsing. Something he said. <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah. Hey, yeah, that's yeah. it. He, he, he still wins it. Yeah. JT, how about you? Well, this question is near and dear to my heart right here. Uh oh. I still, hey, I don't uh -oh. even remember her name, but I love her. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember her name because I, I think I was probably about 22. And oh. under the lights, she looked like Halle Berry, but that next morning, I knew this lady was in her late forties, maybe early fifties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She put me in the game, though, okay? cuz she put me yeah. in the game. And mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, hey, she, hey, she went to sleep. She was highly buried. She woke up like Grace Jones, huh? <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> this is not who I thought to talking to. This is not. All right, wow. Okay, I think I was uh, 17. She had to be about 46. And check it out. She, 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 yeah, she said, you know, something like, um, let's see if I remember, you got to go to the dentist. Let me show you how to use your jaw. I don't know what she was talking about. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she put me in the game how to use the jaw. <laughs> you want to press card? Hey, huh? hey she, you probably, press she, probably, she probably tried to hand you. You probably had, had you some uh, some dental floss too, huh? Oh yeah, I had all the floss. No, at back then you use the uh the uh what you call it in the broom the the straw. Oh mm. <laughs> yeah, you know dental floss back then. Yeah, the broom straw. Huh? I ain't pressing no charges. You crazy? Oh hell no, charges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Mika. I, hey, oh. I, nah, I don't Mika, think Mika, Mika ain't gonna answer that. Mika, oldest man. The oldest man you mess with, Mika. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Everybody just a few years older, that's it. No, no, we need some specifics. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, don't break up hey. a happy home, so she can't answer them questions. So you but you don't you, you don't you don't have worm, you never got the worms and all that. No. <laughs> Y'all <wild. laughs> He said a word, boy. That's old school, though. Yeah, I mean, uh, is that? Hey, hold up. Is that really? Is that really true? Well, I'm asking. You. I, I don't know. Oh, oh, well, I forgot. Yeah, my, I had a mind lapse about the worms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That lady said, hey, about no. you have, "If you listen, you have a good set of teeth in your old age." <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I mean. Man. That, yeah. Hey, look! Don't Wilder, talk bad man. about the ladies. I would never talk bad about that lady. I love telling that story. That is near and dear to my heart. <laughs> all right, let, let me ask y'all this. Who, who, let me ask you: Who do y'all trust more, your family or your friends? Mm. We had a oh hell, yeah. we just talked my, about that. Yeah. Would you, would yeah. you say me? Yeah. Would you say me? I trust my friends more than your family. Uh -huh. Well, you need to take yourself off this live. 
that a ain't that a spit in the face? You bring things up from a long time ago, man. Hey, they be bringing up old news, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah, I did it. Be like, hey, yeah, I think I understand what you're saying. Sir. <laughs> like with your family, you can only count on your family to be your family. You feel me? Yeah. You can't count on them to <laughs> always keep the secret. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, I, I get it. Now my brother on my other hand, like I come from a different my my immediate family, y'all uncle and aunt, my mom and dad, like and my brother, we just make up a. Uh, we a different kind of family, I feel like. Right, right. I love them people. I trust them with my life to the end. But maybe some cousins I got, I don't know that I trust them with my life. You feel <laughs> me? <laughs> I, I understand that because, like, like I said before in another podcast, now, you know, three brothers, but me and Mo are the closest. Me, me and Mo can keep the secrets of death to us part. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the secret ain't nobody. I don't know what you do. We we even set up a little case in case of you know we used to do bad stuff back in the day, and we get stopped by the cops. We are not talking. I don't care how many times them detectives coming in. Well, your brother said, I'm just gonna now, look at them because I know good and well my brother ain't say nothing. <laughs> let's not glaze over that. Now, what would you be doing to get in trouble with the authority? Miko. <laughs> Drag racing. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Right, now, wait a minute now. Now, if you're going to be running for president now, you can't be releasing all this information now. You're going to find out. It's better for you to tell you before you find out. Well, you know, after the after after the you know, the chief that's sitting there now, cause anybody can be president. Your background don't make a difference no more. No, no. Oh man, oh man. Hey, uh, no you, know, uh, you know what? That's why Meek running for president. Okay. <laughs> no, okay. Let, me, let, me, let me tell you about your cousin in that little corner over there. I, okay. I got, oh got, boy, got, here we go. Yeah, I got into some trouble. And my mom told me not to drive the car. Remember that big old hearse I used to drive? That old school Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Uh-oh. We go on night shift. Well, Mr. Palmer decides to come home and visit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what you do when your, when your parents are on night? My daddy was out the country working. My mom was on night shift. I don't care what she said. I ain't got to drive. I'm going to this party. Well, I decided to go to the party. But Mr. Palmer decides to call my mama job and tell her oh, mama, she didn't listen. She going to that party. Well, I mm. all night long having wow, wow. My mama was there waiting on me. I was worried about the police wow. or something on about you. No, you know? worried about no police. Yeah, I heard you got hey, arrested. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, 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 Meek for president, man. You got my vote. You got my vote. Meek. You got it. Yep. <laughs> hey, Elliot, you got it. who you trust, family or friends? Friends. <laughs> why? Why you hesitating, I, man? Hey, I, I thought was, I thought the Jeopardy song was gonna start playing. Yeah, I wanted to give it somewhat of a, a reasonable thought, mm -hmm. but, but right. when it when it when it comes down to it. You have certain expectations of people, and you're more critical of your family for making mistakes than you are your friends for making mistakes. Church, right, 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 so right. That's why. I, that's why I say my friends. Cause my friends probably do the same dumb shit that my my family did, but because they my family, I hold them in a higher regard. So, right. so it means more if they don't follow through. Right. But my friends, I hear that preach, man, yeah. preach. And then friends is by choice. Family ain't. Mm -hmm. So I can choose to disregard you messing up this time or that time. I can say, man, I ain't mess with you no more. But family is like, I got to they see you. There. Yeah, they always there. Family reunion, we got too much in common. Mm -hmm. 
for me just to stay mad at you for the rest of my life, which is stupid. Oh, yeah. Right. I mean, because you, you never know with family, you got you got businesses, you got land, you got all types of stuff that sooner or later you're going to have to communicate on, you know, to deal with that situation. So I, I, I would expect them, yeah, I would expect them to to hold me with a high regard as I hold them, but you know, y'all getting let down, so it is what it is. Now, hold yeah, on, cuz you been you been working with Don Lemon after dark? You got these Ooh. you got the interview <laughs> Yeah. 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 You just seen the it for the first time. Out Don Lemon. The Ellie, let me ask you this, man. When the last time you shaved, bro? I'm just, I just wanted to throw that out there. Your, your beard, your beard looks kind of like you got a, some things in it, man. I mean, what else? What's Ooh. all that? Shit, that Anthony Hamilton. I go to the barbershop <laughs> and they just leave it alone, <laughs> let it nap up. Yeah, you need like hey, a lawn mower on hey, that, he, man. Hey, man, he following the quarantine, man. That's quarantine. Yeah, that's that's a different that's a different type of quarantine. I I, I ain't never seen nothing like that before. <laughs> Hey, check it out. When he cut it, it grow back the same way. Yeah. <laughs> like he's yeah. putting fertilizer on it or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, but I enjoyed y'all, man. We had a good time tonight. You know what I'm saying? Real quick. Huh? Hey. Real quickly. No, we can still go on. No, it ain't no, it ain't quick. <laughs> Hold on, you ain't saying hold nothing up, but cut a word. The music. Hold up, hold yeah, up, hold up, everybody. Yeah. Hold up, everybody. Cut the music. Meek got something to say. What you got yeah, to say, Meek? I got something to say. You know, reading all those posts on um, Let's Talk Under the Tree and we always dogging the, the men or whatever. I just want to say something to the women. Oh. <laughs> just want to say, women, if you out there cheating and creeping, the men are getting smarter. Oh, oh hell. Ain't, ain't nobody gonna comment on that. Ain't nobody gonna hear. Yeah. I, I tell you like this the men ain't necessarily getting smarter, but this little trap we got, this little thing that we can't put down this phone, it'll tell on you every time. Yes, sir. Hey, it'll tell on you hey. every time. Hey, uh, hey, technology is a hell of a drug. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> But your whole life in it. Your whole life in it. Even if you don't want it to be, it's in it. <laughs> Both of your lives. We're going to support Meek Meek for president 2020. We're going to get a campaign. I think she qualified. All you need to be is what? What, 35 years old, American citizen, 14 and years. And, and me? Uh, yeah, that, there you go. Matter of fact, this, <laughs> let's, let's end this with uh, this question here. I'm going to start with you, JT, and, you know, I want you to give me your honest opinion. How mean do you think Meek Meek is? <laughs> Break it down. I don't, I don't know that she mean. You know what I'm saying? Like, I come from some smart aleck people, cuz. Like, my people yeah. talk tough. You know what I'm saying? If you know my mama, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, Meek and my mama is almost the same with the delivery. <laughs> they not gonna really consider your feelings more than they gonna get off they chest what they got to say. Right. Your feelings is an afterthought. Right. Yeah, exactly. But but they good people. They'll save your life. You feel me? But your mama talks to me so nice and well mannered, and this you know everything's perfect. It's probably because you <laughs> well mannered. Like she had to grow up. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. She ain't gonna go after you for no reason, but if you give her a reason, you gotta be there for it. Cause you gotta yeah. sit through. <laughs> I got a several story, boy. She slapped my brother homeboy when he was in high school. Your mama? Wow. Wow. Come on, don't this care. Right, look, I thought I was gonna have to fight my homeboy, cause cause he like like she slapped him, and she probably had a right to slap him, but them ain't your kids. That was a grown man. <laughs> hey, 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 Meek, Meek down went to the white dot, man. Where, where she went at? Well, she had a little uh -oh, break. She, she, uh, oh, okay. She be back. I, I get, yeah, she, she be back. I'm slapping people, man. I mean, look, you're not going to say nothing crazy around <laughs> my mama. You're not going to say nothing derogatory about no women. You ain't going to, like, we all adults, so you can get off a little you know, in rhythm swearing. 
You feel right, me? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Around my mom. And Buddy said something that was kind of slick. It wasn't horrible, and I don't even remember what it was verbatim. But as soon as he got it out his mouth, like his hat was flying off. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, but. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> But you hey. know, my mama, my mama's a gangster. Up until about, up until my mama mid fifties, cause I take me and my mama just into two niggas, cause what? Hey, <laughs> my mama with the shit. That. She with the shit. I heard that. Damn. She. I think she still got a little something left in her. Hey, look. As long as she could be here, I want to help. There you go. That's a blessing, man. Yes, JT. Sir. Yes, sir. Thanks for those words. Elliot, you think Mika mean, bro? In closing, you think Mika mean? She ain't mean. She aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> like, she aggressive. <laughs> aggressive. Like, like, if you ain't ready, like, if you're in a boxing ring and you, you second guessing your opponent, she gonna slaughter you. Right. So, <laughs> you have to meet her like Lewis Young. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. I know that's right. <laughs> so, Dang. If, you got, if you got, if she got a smart, your feelings might be hurt. But if you can withstand that blow, <laughs> you know, withstand the blow, kind of get 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 yourself together and swing it down, you might get more respect out of her where she ain't gonna be as mean, and then you realize that's just her. <laughs> But if, you, if, she, if she hits you with that first one, and you and you just take it to the chin, you done. You say, don't go out there with the glove tap. She she gonna fake you out with the glove tap, and she gonna swing on you. You gonna swing on you. <laughs> you gonna you gonna lose your legs, huh? You gonna lose your legs, your wig, my mustache, everything. I never. T T Small, real quick, what you think? And then What's come up? back to me. What you think? Hey man, uh, hey man, when I first met me, man, she was like my auntie, man. I, I, you, hey man, T Small, man, hey, yo, don't do that, man. Hey, hey when you go on that, uh, 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 hey, that she like auntie, that that's me, that that she 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 remind me of auntie big time, all the time. She gonna she gonna keep me in line now. She always keep me in line <laughs> for real. That, that mean that auntie that's babysitting and gambling at the same time. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Oh, what's the thing, older brother? You think I'm in? Hold on, I'm gonna answer. Uh oh, uh oh. But T Small, but T Small has answered that very carefully. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, hold on, Elliot. Ask me that question three times. I'm saying it for a reason. Uh Is meek me? Uh Is meek me? (laughs) (laughs) Do it again. Is meek me? <laughs> Apparently, me is be a mix. Hit it again. Is me mean? <laughs> that's the answer. That, hey, that's that Leo coming out. Yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> there it is. There, there it is. is. If there was any doubts, that is the answer right there. But I appreciate everybody, man. Y'all had a nice little chat. Y'all had a good time. Hey, look, we're kind of playing. Hey, every everybody, everybody jaws should be tight right now. <laughs> You're giving me a flashback about the jaw, man. Don't be talking about that. <laughs> hey, that's why I said that. That's why I said that. I gotta go to the dentist too. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But thanks for Joining in with Let's Talk Under the Tree, Elliot Fam, JT Fam, Meek Sis, myself, Mr. Palmer, T Smalls, what it do, man? You family in the making. We we gotta you know, right. do a little, we gotta little, you know do a little voting on you though. Know I mean? Hey man, <laughs> hey man, look man, I, I, I'm no I'm the only city dude out here, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm the young cat, man. I'm the I'm, I'm the I'm the I'm the new kid on the block. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all good. You cool people, man. We enjoyed everybody. We had a good time. JT Ellard in Columbia, South Carolina. Me, me. I don't know what. Huh? 
I don't know where Meek at. I don't know. He's somewhere in the United States. Some, somewhere, somewhere in Carolina. Somewhere in Carolina. Meek, who the writer say you on the back side of Jesus' back, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually surprised that um the signal last. She has some pretty good signal tonight. Yeah, she she ain't had no problem. I, I think. I think they use like a lot of windmills out there. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we had a good time. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk under the tree. Y'all stay uh stay on here. I'm getting ready to log off. And peace, y'all be blessed. Peace, Smalls. Don't do that long. Don't do that long praying now. But you know, do a little quick, you know, prayer tonight, T. Smalls. I'm gonna give him a little something. Yeah, a little something. A little something, something. Well, I, I thank everybody for the fellowship, man. You know, bless everybody, man, as we leave this uh, telecast tonight. You know, bless me for uh, the 2020 presidential campaign. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> bless all these brothers tonight and sisters. Amen. We pray. Y'all be safe. Y'all be safe. Thanks for chopping it up with everybody. And y'all stay on real quick. And let's talk under the tree 2020.